This week's Music Monday will get you a signed K-Will CD for his latest video, Love Blossom. Now, we were lucky enough to get an interview with K-Will this last Friday, and we actually spoke with him about his new video, which he gave us some really insightful info into. None of which we're considering for this Music Monday, because that's how we roll for Music Monday. But, he also gave us some signed CDs. We're giving one of them away for this week's Music Monday, so stick around to the end of the video to see what you gotta do to win. Doo-doo. Let's just start off by saying how perfectly timed this song is. It's starting to warm up now in Korea for spring. The crushing grayness of winter is passing away. People are smiling, and they're hating their their cold, cold, winter-filled lives less. And this song is perfect for the vibe of the new season. Last year, Busker Busker's Cherry Blossom ending was huge for capturing the seasonal spirits. And now, K-Will's Love Blossom is doing exceptionally well for some of the same reasons. And this song is great. It's got a light, jazzy trumpet, a chorus that people better than me in Korean will really want to shout to. It's just perfect first date music. And the video totally took us by surprise. This is the first time for us in a long time that we laughed at a video whose intention was to be funny, rather than just accidentally funny. <laughs> it's made in love. Oh, got a bad K-pop. Cost. The video has a silly plot, and it satisfies our deep-seated revenge fantasies. It does so in an unpredictable kind of fun way, which somehow manages to perfectly match the vibe of the song. Now, that doesn't mean that we didn't notice tiny details outside of the scope of the plot, because those are hilarious as well. For starters, that whole car scene at the beginning of the video was just ridiculous. myung Su comes out of the front passenger seat, and then he opens up the back door, to which his upper-level staff all exit. We all saw this part, right? But what I'm sure that some of you failed to notice is that this isn't just any normal car, but a freaking clown car. Since six people get out of the back seat, six. And then what happens next? They all walk towards the amusement park and are getting ready to enjoy the rides, but then they leave the car at the front gate. <laughs> Don't worry, the valet of the amusement park is gonna take care of it. Soon afterwards, we see Dasam from Sistar walking around the amusement park by herself. Okay, so there's nothing wrong with doing things by yourself. I've gone to see a movie alone, I've grabbed supper, rented movies, ate entire pizzas, shopped for clothing, gone to museums, I've even flown a helicopter. But I don't really think I'd ever go to an amusement park alone and while in a dress. Does she not know what occurs at an amusement park? Rides people, rides. Rides that often go upside down and in circles and wind everywhere. Unless she likes her underwear flapping in the wind. Dasam. Ooh, so nasty. But then we noticed there are actually quite a few people who are alone in this video. There's this guy at 314 taking pictures of himself in the sunset. How romantic. And that lovely guy Gangnam styling it in the background before they even get on the ride. You even see him talking to himself in the back at 123. Oh, so this is the Forever Alone amusement park. Now I understand. Moving on. And Let's be honest with ourselves here. Something freaky is happening in this amusement park. Namely, what unholy demon child would voluntarily give someone their ice cream? Where is this kid's family, huh? What responsible parent would let this happen? And I'm an adult now. Well, kinda. And I wouldn't give a stranger my ice cream. I don't care how hot you are. And I sure as hell wouldn't give you my ice cream when I was a kid. You know what I was like when I got ice cream as a kid? I have an ice cream. I have an ice cream. And I'm gonna eat it all. Do you have a ice cream? No, you don't. Do you want some of my ice cream? Psychic, can I have my ice cream? It's my ice cream, ice cream, ice cream. Hey. No, Dawson, no. That is not a child. It's an evil spot of the devil trying to poison you. This amusement park is a haunted death trap. Young Su knows it because what kind of staff employee punches you in the in public at an amusement park where there are children. Evil, evil I say. And what's even more evidence of this evil, none of Myung Soo's fans were there to do anything like this. No one touches Myung Soo up I'm gonna die. Oh, <laughs> now we've all had bad jobs and sucky bosses before, but I doubt that any of you have ever had a coworker show you can you in the genitals. Show you can. Even so, I'm sure that we could all sympathize with Myung Soo wanting to punish or perhaps kill his evil employers, but was it really necessary to murder the innocent Carney. I'm sure there were hundreds of other ways he could have gotten the Carney to leave his post without killing him. Here are some suggestions. Ice cream secretly filled with laxatives. Soda pop resealed and filled with laxatives. Birds fed with laxatives and then set loose inside the control room. Surprise fried chicken and the chickens were raised on an organic farm which they were fed organic laxatives. Give him an adorable penguin wearing a small hat and when he's distracted chloroform him and feed him laxatives. Give him a pen with a secret needle tip which is laced with laxatives. 
high five. Oopsie. The glove on my hand was covered in powdered fast acting absorbing through the skin laxatives. A box of bonbons filled with sweet delicious cherries dipped in chocolate and wrapped with a ribbon. The ribbon was covered in laxatives. For Taco Bell. You see what I mean? Explosive diarrhea is a surefire way to get out of a speeding ticket, a date with multiple members of Girls' Generation, or even from having to kill someone. But no, he kills the K-Will Carney and leaves his employers to vomit on each other to death. Seriously, there was not enough vomit present in this video. And he even has time to go get ice cream after committing murder. Not really the most effective escape plan, I'd say, but whoa, he really likes his ice cream. I mean, how many ice creams did this guy eat? Number one, half eaten, then new ice cream. Half eaten ice cream again, and then covering his hand. Clean hand now, and a new ice cream. Seriously, myung your figure is fabulous. On a serious note, because we like to do serious notes in Music Monday, especially after poop jokes. We like to talk about one more thing. People have mentioned in our questions for our interview with K-Will that he doesn't appear in his music videos because he's considered not good looking enough, as was reported by him and other interview shows that he was on in Korea. Honestly, we find this concept ridiculous. And though K-Will's cameo in his own video was pretty hilarious, we'd really like to see more of him in his own videos. He might not fit into the Korean standards of beauty and might not be as attractive as myung Soo in some people's opinions, but he should still be in his own videos. You with me? I know you are. For last week's showdown, we asked you which artsy, cropped out of focus YG video you preferred, Lee Highs in Rose or G Dragons in That XX. And the winner was very easily. <laughs> <laughs> that XX. That's seriously one of the nicest looking videos we've ever seen. And I'm not sure what artsy video will ever be able to beat that. Probably TVXQ's balloons. Mm. For this week's showdown, we ask you which Myung Soo video you preferred. K Will's Love Blossom or the Snuggly Ones in 60 Seconds. Both highlighting Myung Soo's acting skills, both not containing a drop of him singing. Leave your votes in the comments and we'll announce the winners next week. And now for the signed CD giveaway! We know it's tough getting K-pop CDs overseas, and even more tough to get them autographed. But not if you watch our videos. So to you awesome subscribers of our channel, and only our subscribers will win, click here if you haven't subscribed to us yet. Here's your chance. All you gotta do is let us know in the comment section below, if you are Myungsu, how would you exact your revenge on your team of meanies? We if you couldn't tell, are partial to inducing diarrhea. We'll pick our favorite answer and announce the winner next week. Lastly, don't forget to like and favorite this video and to subscribe for more Music Mondays where we give away awesome CDs. Take it away, Ice Cream Spurgy. Oh, hello, I'm the Spurgy. Thank you for watching. Make sure you check out Lehigh's Rose from last week. And if you want to laugh more, check out the bloopers. And then subscribe for more of our videos.